uh, Ulsinia is going to come up uh, first, and then Ken Montague, and then we'll go on to the bridge. So, give a good, good welcome to Linda. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, this up. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Most people here will be aware that the trade agenda, the EU's trade agenda, is directly uh, opposite to what we want from climate change, and that that's because the, what we'll get from the climate change will be non-binding. We know that it will be non-binding soft stuff, whereas the trade agenda, the trade agreements, are hard law. It's that sort of difference. So, interestingly, a couple of weeks ago there was a leak about the EU's position going into the climate change talks. And as you know, the, the, the Commission is split into about 28 parts where they all deal with different stuff. And this actually came from DG Climber, the bit that deals with climate change. And the two main points that they made was keep the... Uh, keep the climate change agenda and the trade agenda completely separate. That's what they want. That was their main objective. And their other main objective was keep any, uh, any uh, mention of intellectual property rights away from the climate change agenda. Right? So it's intellectual property rights that bar uh, developing and poorer countries from getting access to the sort of technology they need to deal with climate change stuff, right? What they, the corporations want to maintain their intellectual property rent on it. So they want the intellectual property rights kept strong regardless of what the world needs. They want to keep dragging in the rent if anyone wants to use their technology. So keeping the trade agenda completely separate to, uh, to the climate change agenda, they argue that the, the World Trade Organization is the place for trade and not the United Nations climate change talks. They should be separate. They have to be separate because the two agendas are so utterly, utterly contradictory. The TTIP, the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, which you're probably aware of, you might not be so aware of the CETA, the Canada-EU trade agreement and the trade in services agreement. These are the big ones out there at the moment, as well as the uh, Trans-Pacific Partnership on the other side of the world. These, um, these give all rights to corporations, so a corporate world is not going to help us with climate change, and that's the agenda of the EU's um, the EU's trade agenda. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank for you very us. much. And, and uh, our next last speaker before we go to the bridge is.